This is AutoLine Daily, the show dedicated to all of you enthusiasts of the global automotive industry. Yesterday, we reported that China was going to hit peak ice this year, and today we're putting an exclamation point on that. Sales of electric cars in China absolutely exploded last month compared to a year ago. All the major Chinese EV startups saw rocket-like growth. NIO was up 37%. Li Auto was up 125%. Xpeng shot up 202%. And Hozan, which owns the EV brand Nita, saw sales grow a staggering 270%. No word yet on Tesla's March sales in China, and that's going to depend on how many cars it sold in China versus how many were exported to Europe. You know, micro-mobility could become the future of urban transportation. Now, UPS is testing electric four-wheel cargo bikes for last-mile delivery in Europe. Called the E-Quad, they have a range of about 40 miles. That's about 64 kilometers. They can carry 440 pounds of cargo. That's 200 kilograms. And they have a top assisted speed of about 15 miles an hour. That's about 25 kilometers an hour. UPS will test 100 e-quads in seven European countries, and it also plans to test it in the U.S. and Asia. It's only 36 inches wide, so it can legally use bike lanes and pedestrian zones that a truck cannot access. Whoa, look at this. Ram says it can make a pickup like the Ford Maverick 2. At a local media event in Brazil, the president of Stellantis South America, Antonio Filosa, said Ram will introduce a small pickup in Brazil called the 1200. He supposedly also said the truck's going to be sold in the American market. It will be built on the company's small, wide 4x4 platform. That's the same one that the Jeep Renegade uses, and it's going to come with four-wheel drive and a nine-speed automatic. In Brazil, the model is expected to be available with two engine options, a gas and a diesel. This is a very fascinating factoid. Last year in the U.S., Toyota sold more vehicles priced under $50,000 than anyone else. So, who do you think led the sales race for vehicles priced over $50,000? If you think it was Mercedes-Benz, that's actually a pretty good guess, but it was number two. Bloomberg reports that last year, the automaker that sold the most vehicles priced over $50,000 in the American market was the Ford Motor Company. We want to know what drives your testing. OTA, connected car, diagnostics, remote testing. Intrepid Control Systems is here to help you work from anywhere. Intrepid Control Systems, driven by your data. Enthusiasts rejoice. Hot hatches are far from dead. Last night, Toyota unveiled the 300 horsepower all-wheel drive Corolla GR. And this isn't some lame marketing job with blacked out bits and a blatty muffler. It's got some serious engineering cred. The 1.6 liter three cylinder direct port injected turbo engine delivers 300 horsepower and 273 pound feet of torque. And this engine revs. Max horsepower is at 6,500 RPM. All the power is fed through a six speed manual transmission. Let's dive inside the engine. Multi-oil jet piston cooling, large diameter exhaust valves, and a part-machined intake port show the attention to detail that this engine got. The turbocharger is integrated into the exhaust manifold for lower weight. The wastegate bypass gases are even used to heat up the catalytic converter faster. The all-wheel drive system is absolutely awesome. It offers customizable front-rear power settings. You can have a 60-40 split for mainly front-wheel drive daily commuting, a 50-50 split for autocross or track days, or a 30-70 power split to kick the rear wheels out. And to make sure that a maximum amount of power hits the pavement, it's got front and rear Torsen limited slip differentials. The Corolla GR is assembled at Toyota's Motobachi plant in Japan, but Gazoo Racing recruited highly skilled technicians from throughout the company to make it. Some of the other details that set it apart from run-of-the-mill Corollas include enhanced frame reinforcements, functional exterior air vents and aerodynamic tweaks, 
more weld points in the frame, and extensive use of structural adhesives. Two trim lines are available, core and circuit. The latter adds a forged carbon fiber roof, suede trim, sport seats, and more. In fact, Toyota provided quite a bit of detail on this car, and if you'd like to learn more about it, check out the link in today's show notes. Solid state batteries could be a game changer for electric cars. They're smaller and can be charged faster, but there's still a big learning curve ahead. So Toyota is going to start out using solid state batteries in a hybrid car to see what it can learn. Gil Pratt, the chief scientist at Toyota, explained to me why they're taking this approach. Uh, but we actually think that uh, because the costs of the battery cells are still quite high, no one has yet really figured out uh, how to uh, manufacture them in uh, high volume with low cost, that a hybrid vehicle is actually the right place to start. And the reason is the battery pack in a hybrid vehicle is much smaller than in a battery electric vehicle. The power levels of charging and discharging, because that battery pack is smaller, when you press on the brakes and you have regenerative braking or you uh, hit the accelerator, the actual power per cell is somewhat higher than it is in a BEV. And the number of cycles that it's going to go through are quite a bit more. So actually, it's a tougher job to put a battery inside of a hybrid electric vehicle than a BEV, so we are starting there so that we can learn the most doing it. That interview, by the way, has a ton more information about solid state batteries and Toyota's EV strategy. You can find that entire show on our YouTube channel or in the AutoLine This Week section of the AutoLine website. Mobility is becoming electric, connected, and autonomous, just like the manufacturing world. But we'll always be one thing, a reliable partner for our customers. One of Tesla's key advantages in selling cars is that it's the only car company in the world with its own charging network. And that network is only getting bigger. Bloomberg reports that last year alone, Tesla added at about 10,000 superchargers to its global network. That's two and a half times more than the number it had in 2020. And it's only going to grow more. Tesla plans to triple the size of its network over the next two years. Most of those chargers are going into China, which accounts for about 43% of all installations. One advantage Tesla has over public chargers is reliability. Volkswagen says 30% of public chargers in China are usually not available because they either don't work or they're blocked by gasoline-powered cars. You know, there have been so many companies claiming that they've achieved the battery breakthrough, we've become a little bit leery about reporting on them. But this one, it's so interesting and potentially such a game-changer, we couldn't resist. Scientists at the Institute for Basic Science in South Korea claim They've got a way to fully charge an EV battery in nine seconds. You heard that right, nine seconds. That's with a level three fast charger. At home, you could recharge in only three minutes. Here's how it works. Today, batteries charge in parallel, independently of each other. The cells are charged independently. But with this new way, scientists are using quantum physics to recharge each cell at the same time. And they say, that's 200 times faster. By the way, we want to thank our viewer, Tim Driver, for bringing the story to our attention. We get a lot of good suggestions from you, our viewers. So if you've got an idea or see something you think we ought to take a look at, let us know. We can't promise that we're going to use them all, but you can help us be the eyes and ears of the automotive industry. And that wraps up today's show. Hope you have a great weekend, and we'll see you again here on Monday. Auto Line Daily is brought to you by Bridgestone, solutions for your journey. Intrepid Control Systems, over-the-air engineering, boost your game. And by Scheffler, we pioneer motion.
Wards is the industry leader for news, data, and analysis. That's why companies across the globe subscribe to our premium service, maybe even your own. Log in for subscriber access now. Check your company's intranet for details and rely on wardsauto.com to keep you informed.